Tonight I'm making a big pot of chili, but I'm using a different meat. A healthier meat. A delicious meat. Ground bison. I'll show you how to make this bison chili from start to finish. I'm Tess and welcome to my kitchen. Ground bison can be found in most grocery store chains, including Walmart, Sam's, and Wegmans that I know of. This is one pound of ground bison or buffalo meat. Bison is a leaner meat than beef, healthier and becoming more and more popular. I'm using the ground bison tonight for chili. Using the ground bison, I'm not going to be able to taste much of a difference from beef, but it is a different and healthier option than beef. Besides, the ground buffalo will make this chili more authentic. It will make it more of a cowboy chili. In my pan on medium heat, I'm adding a couple tablespoons of oil, some diced onions, bell peppers, celery, and a little salt and black pepper, giving that a stir and cooking for a couple minutes. Next is a good serving of minced garlic. I love lots of garlic, giving that a stir and constantly cooking for another minute. You can find this recipe in the list of ingredients in the description box below. I'm turning up my heat to medium-high and I'm adding in the ground bison, stirring and chopping until browned. Next, I'm adding some spices. I'm adding some sazon. This is my homemade sazon, and I will leave a link for that recipe here and in the description box below. You can use one packet of the Goya sazon, some chili powder, oregano, and a little chipotle powder for some smokiness and heat, and this is optional. Stirring and cooking for another minute to get all those flavors started. The smell just keeps getting better and better. Now for some liquid. I have one large can of crushed tomatoes. You can use tomato sauce if you wish. One large can of kidney beans going in. And some people don't like beans in their chili. And that is okay. Giving that a stir to get everything well combined. If you like this bison chili recipe, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment below. You can also find me and more of what I'm cooking on Facebook. Please feel free to share this recipe with your friends and family. Bringing the chili up to a simmer, giving it a taste test for any seasonings, and I'm also adding some beef broth to thin out the chili. Once up to a simmer, reducing the heat to low, covering, and cooking for 30 minutes, occasionally stirring. It's been 30 minutes and you can see the chili has reduced and thickened a little from the beans. Now I'm adding my second round of spices. Chili always seems to benefit with two to three spice deposits throughout the cooking. I'm adding a little sugar to balance out the tomato acidity, some garlic powder, and another boost of oregano for some freshness. Can't forget to add a little more chili powder. After all, that is what this bison chili is all about. Giving that a stir, covering, and cooking for another 15 minutes, and we are ready to eat. I think the ground bison gave this chili a great, rich taste. You can see the meat was lean and did not produce a lot of liquid or fat. Ground bison is another healthier, alternative meat. Serving the bison chili tonight with some grated cheddar cheese and some fresh chopped green onions on top. You could serve with some pasta, rice, mashed potatoes, sour cream, or whatever you like in your chili. Hope you give this cowboy bison chili a try. Until next time, enjoy. And thanks so much for joining me here in my kitchen. You can subscribe here for my future video recipes. And remember to come visit me on Facebook. You never know what I might be cooking. Until next time, much love.